What advice would you give a screenwriter wanting to break into the business today? I would say the best thing you can do is skip film school and just start shooting film. Because you can do that. I couldn't do that when I was starting out. As a filmmaker. Would, as a filmmaker. Yeah, I would. Uh, film school, you will learn everything you learn in four years of film school in five days on a, on a set. Pretty much. You know? It's a, film school is the world's biggest waste of money unless you go to UCLA or NYU or USC. USC yeah. and, and otherwise, if you're going to some other college to get a, a communications degree or film degree or that, you are totally wasting your time. If you want to be a filmmaker, take, take, shit, take 25, tell your parents, say, okay, I want to take 25% of what you would spend on a college and I want to make a movie with it. Just make movies, write them, get your friends together. If Sony has a good eye, make him the director. You now, just make, go out and start making movies. Um, and, and you know, you might not monetize, but you'll get from here to there much faster than you will if you go to film school. For and how about screenwriting? For screenwriting, um, you know, I think the most important thing I would tell a writer who wants to be a dramatist, which is a very specific kind of writing, um, People think that, you know, novelists think, oh, I can not, I can adapt this into a script. They usually can. It's very specific. Shakespeare was an actor before he was a writer. And I really, I didn't really learn how to be a dramatist until I studied acting. And I studied acting by accident. I thought I wanted to be a director. And so one of my, my second mentor, who was really important in my development, was a guy named Cliff Osmond, who was an acting, t an acting coach. He was Armand DeSante's um, you know, acting consultant. And I, I met him on a set and we got to be good friends. And I said, I want to take some of your classes because I want to learn about the process so I can interact with actors as a director. And what I did was I ended up learning how to write. I learned, I really learned, I was really good at packing the trunk and I knew how to, um, to break a story and, and, and figure out what follows this and what follows that. But when it came to my character work, um, I was faking it until I studied acting and you'll learn one thing you learn in acting is, is to act in the moment. Now, if you're, you got stage fright, I have terrible stage fright when I'm playing somebody other than myself, I can get up in front of a zillion people mm -hmm. being damned off. I don't, you know, but if I'm playing a character, it's scary. Um, and, um, you know, I, I just can't build that fourth wall, but when I'm alone in a room, I can in, um, I, I'm writing in the moment. I'm mostly, my scene work feels like tr I'm just taking transcription. I know my characters so well. I know what they're saying. All I'm doing is just trying to keep up with them while they're, while they're talking, going through a scene. I never am going, hmm, what would he say there? Mm -hmm. Hmm, what would she then say? Another thing I'd say to young actors or young, young writers is that uh, uh, sort of a, sort of attached to that mm -hmm. is if you're going to a place like that and you're going, what would I say if I was in that situation? What would I say if somebody said that to me is nobody really gives a fuck what you would say. Okay. <laughs> because you're really not interesting. Actors aren't doers. Actors are watchers. If you're boring, just boring, boring people. And so nobody cares what you'll say. You have to understand your character and what the character would say. They all have to have different voices. They have to be real, you know? So again, I would really strongly suggest studying, spending at least a couple of years, um, you know, in any way you can and whatever resource your town or city has, um, getting up and studying acting and doing scenes and seeing how hard it is. And it also helps you develop a really strong respect for your for the actor and how mm -hmm. hard they're and that's something that's sorely lacking with many writers in Hollywood, where I'll hear them going, oh, yeah, that guy, he's a shitty actor, he just he sucks. And it's like, has it occurred to you that, you know, you're writing shitty stuff for him to say? Like, you know, there's no <laughs> way to make him work well, asshole. Right. So, <laughs> if Meryl, if Meryl Streep was saying it, it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> yeah. yeah.